So on Horizon 4, one of the kind of most requested things I got was new body kit. Every I think you got it on the stream. stream. Yeah, I think yeah, we would ask you on the stream yeah. as well. So like every stream I got asked <laughs> that. Was that. Fun, isn't it? Uh, so for Forza Horizon 5, we are going to be introducing new car customization and specifically body kits uh, through live. So uh, next series is the first one where we're doing that. Uh, and expect more in the future as well. A bit. How many have we got coming, Chris? It's two next month. Two body kits. You but they're, they are really good ones. They're really, really good like body kits. Yep. You heard it here first. being the two-door coupe, which we have here. Uh, and it's an entirely new generation, so new underpinnings, new engines. Uh, we're now up to new pop. is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR. Huge difference. Huge difference. Do you want to go along to Porsche? Mm -hmm. We have the 550A Spider. Do you know what I'm thinking looking at the back of the car? I'm thinking they're like the oven grills that, that, that you take out of the oven. That one. That one. There we go. Holding the Commodore. Back in the 80s, uh, the touring cars for the Aussie. The one on the right, the Legacy RS 1990. I have to check because I can't remember if it's 10,000 or 100,000. It's 100,000 kilometers what? that drove non stop. M3 GTS, the ultimate version of that, and it's in a fantastic color as well, mm. uh, which I have a note for. Starting with a Chinese EV, we've got the new two Forza uh, Xpeng P7. So it's also it's a mid-sized kind of sedan. It's on the larger side. Um... <laughs> 